Hey everyone and welcome back to the Statuesque Events YouTube channel. I'm so excited to have you guys back here for another fun video where we're going to be going over wedding trends. And today we're going to be going over Nigerian wedding trends. So I'm super excited to dive into five fun trends that you can look forward to in 2022, even 2023, as you're planning your Nigerian weddings anywhere in the world, but especially here in the United States. Before I go too far, let me go ahead and introduce myself. My name is Faye Shala. I'm the owner of Statuesk Events. We're a wedding planning and design company based in the DC metro area, but we do weddings everywhere. We're talking anywhere from Vegas to Connecticut to Florida to North Carolina, everywhere in between. We do weddings there and we love producing beautiful weddings. And I'm also a coach to other wedding planners. I love teaching about the business of wedding planning and how to grow your business. So if you're interested in learning more about hiring us as a wedding planner or hiring me as your coach for your wedding planning business, all that information is in the description box. But for today, like I said, we're focusing on Nigerian wedding trends and I'm super excited to share the things we've been noticing over this year that are gonna be big trends next year. Now for the first one, when it comes to traditional Nigerian engagements or when people incorporate a few elements of a Nigerian engagement into their reception, you know, maybe you might change to a separate outfit, etc. One big trend that we're noticing that's going to be huge next year is having fans for everyone in the bridal train, right? In the past, generally the bride would have a, be a big, beautiful, decorated fan and all of her Ashwabi ladies, ladies in the lace in a traditional attire would follow behind her. But now... I believe we're seeing a time where everyone's going to have fans, right? The bride's going to have one that's big and beautiful and in a different color. And all the bridesmaids will have matching fans for their outfits as well. And everyone just ushers in the bride. It actually looks really beautiful when it's put together. So that's something you want to keep in mind when you're planning your Asha B for all your girls in your train for your traditional events. The second trend that we're seeing is similar. It's for the entrances, a focus on decor over the entryway as you're dancing into the reception. So right now we're seeing a huge trend where lots of people are hanging decor, hanging over the entryway, so that in all the videos of people dancing in, you see decor there, right? Um, in the past, a lot of people have used draping for this, but people are really going over the top for this. We've been seeing that at our own events, seeing dedicated installations so that as you're dancing in, you're dancing in under an arch, you're dancing in under hanging florals or something like that to really make the entrances stand out. And we all know that entrances at Nigerian events are a big deal. So this is a great way to make it even more fun and stand out even more. Another trend that we're seeing, and we've been seeing for a while, but has become even more popular these days, is embedding your traditional engagement within the reception. So what that means is that your traditional, um, you know, your traditional engagement isn't on another day. It's embedded in your reception and you just do a few elements later during the reception. Now, if you want to see an example of that, I'll also you know, drop a card here to one of our past events where Monica and Obi did this for their reception. Uh, but that's something that we've been seeing more and more, especially now in the age of COVID and travel and just a lot of things going on. A lot of people are looking to condense everything into one day. And one great way to do that is to have it be part of your reception, right? So you start your reception with the American elements or Western elements and end with a Nigerian engagement. So that's something that we've been seeing a lot of and we expect to see way more of, especially going into 2022 and 2023. Another trend that's a bit of a byproduct of everything that happened in 2020 and 2021 with COVID is seeing traditional engagements happening on their own, right? T typically a traditional engagement either happens within a ceremony or happens the day before or two days before the wedding day. But because of COVID, a lot of people ended up having micro weddings or ended up have, you know, go, having elopements and different things like that. So because of that, a lot of people had very tiny weddings, but they still want to have the traditional, they still want to go through all of the traditional rites. So many people are having their traditional engagement months later or even years later, uh, just once everything calms down. We have one of our couples, uh, Zuma and Adi, they had their wedding in Texas, literally right after things started opening back up. When things started opening back up in Maryland, we decided to continue with planning their traditional engagement. So they had their traditional engagement almost four months after getting married. Um, but the reason was just because, you know, having the traditional with over 300 people in May wasn't going to work. So they had their traditional engagement later. So this is gonna be a trend that I believe we're gonna be seeing a lot more of a lot of people who weren't able to have traditionals because of, you know, because of COVID, because of tight guest list restrictions are going to start having really big traditional engagements just as standalone events, not part of a two day or three day affair going into 2022 and 2023. And that is all good. So if 
if you're one of those brides, I want you to know that that's all good. You can totally have a standalone traditional engagement. It's your day, you still get to celebrate. So go for it if that's something that you wanna do. And another trend that we're seeing a lot of and that we think is going to continue is having your traditional engagement at home. Now with the pandemic and so many uh, restrictions that were put in place with venues, we had a lot of weddings at home in general for all types of clients, right? Whether they were Nigerian, African or not. But I think that that also kind of opened everyone's awareness and eyes up to the beauty of what it means to have a wedding at home. Having a wedding literally in your backyard or your front yard, which means that every day when you wake up and look out your window, you see your wedding venue, right? It's really nice and we've seen a lot of those. We've seen a lot of those actually. For instance, we had one of our brides, Shion, she got married um, to her groom, Tubasun, and they got married in their backyard. It was a beautiful over-the-top affair um, and it was just really great, right? So definitely getting married at home is going to become a trend. And honestly, while it's a trend, it's actually the way traditional engagements began, right? Typically, everyone goes to the bride's family's house for the traditional. So having a traditional at home is kind of a way to bring back that, you know, that same vibe, especially if you're getting married at the home of someone in your in the bride's family. It's kind of a cool way to bring back an old, you know, something that had always been done in the past in the village and make it more modern now. So that's something that we've been seeing a lot more of and we definitely expect to continue in 2022 and 2023. So again, that wraps up my five trends for 2022 and 2023 for Nigerian weddings. And I hope that you enjoyed this. If you did, don't forget to hit like and hit subscribe before you go, okay? Because I have so much more coming your way and I wanna make sure that you see it and every like and every subscribe means a lot, all right? So please stay tuned. We've got so much more good stuff coming your way and I can't wait to see you all in the next video.